Today, we're diving into the top 15 mistakes people make when preparing for the zombie apocalypse. But trust me, the skills we're talking about today apply to any disaster situation, whether it's a natural disaster, a power outage, or, yeah, even a zombie horde at your doorstep. We're talking about resilience, resourcefulness, and the grit to survive against the odds. So, whether you're a seasoned prepper or just starting to think about these things, stick around. Let's make sure you're ready for anything. Chapter 1. Tech Trap. Don't rely on a dead grid. First up, the tech trap. Relying solely on technology in a survival situation is a recipe for disaster. Imagine the power grid goes down, your phone's dead, your GPS is useless, and that solar charger? Fried by an EMP. Learn to navigate with a map and compass, get a hand crank weather radio, know how to start a fire without a YouTube tutorial, have backup plans, and understand your gear's limitations. Chapter 2. Basic needs forget fancy lattes, we need water. Okay, let's talk priorities. When the world goes sideways, you can forget about that fancy coffee machine or that top-of-the-line entertainment system. Your priorities shift to the fundamentals, water, food, shelter, and security. Water is always number one. Secure a reliable water source and have a way to purify it. Stock up on non-perishable food items. Think rice, beans, canned goods. Shelter is next. You need a safe and secure place to protect yourself from the elements and potential threats. And finally, security having a plan to defend yourself and your loved ones. Chapter 3, First Aid Duct Tape Can't Fix Everything. You've patched up a leaky tent with duct tape. You're feeling pretty good about your survival skills, right? But what happens when you get a nasty cut or severe injury? A well-stocked first aid kit is essential, but it's useless if you don't know how to use it. Learn how to control bleeding, treat burns, and splint fractures. Chapter 4. Mental Fortitude. Your mind is your greatest weapon. Surviving a disaster isn't just about physical strength. It's about mental fortitude, the will to keep going. Stress and fear can be crippling. Build a support network you trust. Find healthy coping mechanisms like meditation or exercise. Your mind is your most powerful tool. Train it, strengthen it, and never underestimate its power. Chapter 5. Beyond Survival It's not just about staying alive. So you've got your bug out bag packed, your water filter ready, and you've been practicing your zombie slaying skills. But here's the thing. Surviving is about more than just staying alive. It's about finding meaning and purpose, even in the midst of chaos. What are you fighting for? What values will guide your actions? These are the questions you need to ask yourself. Because when the world as you know it crumbles, it's your values, your sense of purpose, that will keep you going. Humans are social creatures. We crave connection, community, and purpose. Don't underestimate the importance of these things in a survival situation. Chapter 6. Essential Skills. Ditch the smartphone, learn survival. In a crisis, your smartphone won't save you. Forget fancy gadgets and focus on learning essential survival skills. Learn how to build a fire using different methods, friction, lenses, even batteries. Master the art of finding and purifying water. Familiarize yourself with edible plants and basic trapping and hunting techniques. These skills are not just about surviving in the wilderness, they're about being self-reliant, resourceful and adaptable in any situation. Remember, knowledge is power, and in a survival situation, practical skills are your most valuable asset. Chapter 7. The Bug Out Bag. Pack. Smart. Survive longer. Let's talk about the Bug Out Bag, your lifeline when you need to evacuate quickly. Pack smart, not heavy. Essentials for the first 72 hours. Lightweight. Multi-purpose gear. Backpack. Water filter. First aid kit. Fire starter. Map and compass. Knife high-calorie food bars, and a basic shelter. Don't forget hygiene items and medications. A well-packed bug-out bag can make all the difference. Chapter 8. Family First. Your tribe is your lifeline. Survival isn't a solo mission. If you have family, loved ones, or even pets, their needs are just as important as your own. When creating your preparedness plans, consider the unique needs of everyone in your group. Do you have young children? 
pack extra supplies like diapers, formula, and comfort items. Elderly family members? Make sure you have their medications and any mobility aids they might need. Remember, in a crisis, your family becomes your tribe, your support system. Working together, looking out for one another, that's how you increase your chances of survival. Chapter 9. Local knowledge your environment can save you or kill you. A survival plan tailored for the Alaskan wilderness won't do you much good in the Arizona desert, right? Your environment plays a crucial role in your survival strategy. Take the time to study your local area. Understand the climate, the terrain, the potential natural disaster. Are you in a hurricane zone? Earthquake country? Knowing the risks specific to your region allows you to prepare effectively. Identify potential sources of water, food, and shelter. Familiarize yourself with local plants and wildlife, both the helpful and the harmful. Remember that old saying, it takes a village? Well, it's true, especially in a crisis. Building strong relationships with your neighbors, your community members, is crucial for long-term survival. In a disaster, your neighbors might be the ones with extra supplies, the skills you lack, or the manpower to help rebuild. Cultivate those relationships now, before disaster strikes. Share your knowledge, offer help when needed, and build a sense of trust and camaraderie. Community fosters resilience, provides support, and increases your chances of making it through tough times. Embrace community, build those bonds, and face the unknown together. Now, before you go full-on action hero, let's talk about firearms. Yes, they can be a valuable tool for self-defense, but they are not the be-all and end-all of survival. Focusing solely on firearms while neglecting other essential skills is a mistake. Prioritize practical skills like foraging, hunting with traps or snares, navigation, first aid, and shelter building. These skills are valuable in any situation, whether you're facing down a horde of zombies or just trying to make it through a power outage. Don't let firearms overshadow the importance of developing a diverse set of survival skills. In a crisis, communication can be the difference between life and death. But what happens when the cell towers are down and the internet is gone? Relying solely on technology for communication is a recipe for disaster. Invest in alternative communication methods. Two-way radios, walkie-talkies, even signal mirrors or whistles can be lifesavers when modern technology fails. Establish communication protocols with your family and neighbors. Clear, reliable communication can prevent misunderstandings, coordinate efforts, and ultimately, save lives. We've all become accustomed to the luxury of electricity. But when the grid goes down, you'll quickly realize how much you depend on it. Don't get caught in the dark explore alternative energy sources. Solar panels, wind turbines, even hand crank generators can provide essential power for lighting, charging devices, or even running small appliances. Learn the basics of off-grid power systems. Energy independence is a crucial aspect of long-term survival. You've got your bug out bag packed, you've been studying survival skills, but have you actually put your knowledge to the test? Preparation without practice is like trying to learn to swim by reading a book. It won't do you much good when you're in deep water. Regularly practice your survival skills. Go camping and try building a fire without matches. Practice your navigation skills with a map and compass. Stage mock disaster drills with your family. The more you practice, the more confident and competent you'll become. It's easy to get caught up in the what-ifs, the worst-case scenarios, the doom and gloom. But constantly dwelling on the negative can be paralyzing. It can lead to anxiety, fear, and ultimately, inaction. Yes, it's important to be prepared, but it's also important to live your life. Find a balance between preparedness and enjoying the present moment. Preparedness is about empowerment, not fear-mongering. Live your life with courage, optimism, and a healthy dose of common sense. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more survival tips and tricks. Remember, preparedness is a journey, not a destination. It's about continuously learning, adapting, and refining your skills.
It's about being resourceful, resilient, and always ready for the unexpected. So stay prepared, stay safe, and most importantly, never lose your sense of adventure.